What's up gamers, Sal here, and today we're back with the Mayo Mini Plus. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at three things you should be doing when you first get your Mini Mini Plus. Wait, Mini Mini? That's exactly how it's written in the script. Someone fire that writer. Wait, that writer is me. Let's get straight into this. The first thing you should be doing when you get your Mayo Mini Plus is get yourself a new name brand SD card such as SanDisk. Because the one that ships with the Mayo Mini Plus is a cheap generic SD card which is known to suffer performance and can become corrupt real fast. If you're looking for some suggestions on which SD cards you should get, I will have a few links in the description down below. Moving on to number two, the second thing that you should be doing when you first get your My O Mini, My O Mini, your My O Mini Plus is updating the firmware, which funny enough is kind of required for the third step, but we'll get back into that later. For this step, you want to download a software called Rufus. Once the software is downloaded, pop your SD card in your PC and then open Rufus. Now you want to look for your SD card. If you have multiple SD cards or USB drives connected to your PC, make sure you select the right one because it could be catastrophic. All your information. <laughs> Select non-bootable, FAT32, and then hit start. Now that the SD card is properly formatted, we want to move on to updating the firmware. Head over to the Mayo Mini Plus developer's website, scroll down, look for the navigational bar, and click firmware download. Across from the Mini Plus Plus... I don't know why they wrote it like that, but Mini Plus Plus 0505 firmware, click download. Unpack it and drag it to the root of the SD card. Plug your Mayo Mini Plus into a wall charger. This step has to be done exactly like that because if you plug your Mayo Mini Plus into your PC, your PC is going to register it as a USB storage drive and it's not going to start the update. Once the Mayo Mini Plus is plugged into a wall charger, a rocket ship will show up on the screen. Let it do its thing. And when it's done, the animated charging screen will show, which will be a confirmation that the update is complete. Here goes the third and the final step. The last thing you should be doing when you first get your Mayo Mini Plus. Setting up the newest version of Onion OS. Head over to the link in the description. Download Onion V4.2 dot zero dash rc or the latest version for the plus and unzip it before copying the files over to the sd card we have to format it once again and now drag the new onion os files over to the root of the newly formatted sd card pop the sd card back into the myo mini plus turn it on and the install process will begin automatically this is your time to grab a coffee. or a sandwich. <laughs> or maybe even your Steam Deck because there's gonna be a little bit of quiet time. When the install process is done, the next step is to choose your emulators and apps. Man, this process is really easier than I would have thought it would be. Even a hairy simpleton beast could do it. <laughs> 
have one tip. During the first trial of the install of the new Onion OS, this hairy simple thing couldn't figure it out. In my defense, it's not written anywhere on the screen, but if you want to switch between software or emulation, I can't remember what the title is, to the apps section so you can select the apps that you want, you just simply hit R2. When you're finished, click start. On this screen, this is your opportunity to confirm you have selected everything that you want on your Mayo Mini Plus. And complete the final step of the setup by clicking start one last time. So we've done it, we've come to the end, we're done, and the newest version of Onion OS is better than the one shipped with the Mayo Mini Plus in so many ways, and it opens the handheld to many useful features, but that's a discussion for another day. Before we end this video, oh my god, I spit. <laughs> I do want to remind you that you have to drag your ROMs onto the new SD card into the ROMs folder. And if you're interested in having images for those games show up on the screen, you're going to have to drag those over to the SD card as well. Now there's two methods for that. One is to create an image folder, IMGS, with a capital I, into the ROMs folder of each emulators, at each emulators, <laughs> for each emulators ROM folder. There's another method though, and that method is to head to the link in the description and download a zip file full of images that you can just drag the image folder right over to the emulator's ROM folder and you're done. Thank you for watching and hopefully this video has been helpful and made your Mayo Mini Plus a better gaming handheld. Don't forget to check the description for links to the updated firmware, the newest version of Onion OS, a Mayo Mini Plus if you're interested in getting one if you don't have one yet, and a name brand SD card. Also down below in the description, check for links to follow us on social where I add a little bit of extra gaming content. But as for now, I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, instead of staring at my ugly mug, why don't you go ahead and check out one of our other videos? One, two, I'll wait. My busted face ain't going nowhere.